guys, so this is just a disclaimer. This is not to condemn you, um, nor to put you to shame. This is just simply me just sharing my experience, where I am, and how I'm doing with these things, okay? So just hear my heart. Thank you. How's everybody? Good, I hope. I'm just coming back to check on you guys. Okay, so <clears throat> in today's video, I wanted to share something. Um, and this is just coming just from personal experience. Um, so I'm going to raise a question. And the question is, have you ever felt that God was far away or further away than what you're used to feeling? Um, and lately I was feeling like that for a few days now or so. I'm like, hmm, seems different. I'm just a little bit out, like I'm out to sea a bit. Mm, I don't like that. No, <laughs> I don't like that at all. Um, yeah, and then so this question came to my spirit. Um, have you ever thought that maybe it seems that you and God are further away? Because one, it's an invitation to get closer to him. And then not only is it an invitation to come closer to him, it's also an invitation to study God's word more and to take a self-evaluation and ask, hey, okay, Lord, um, what, what has my attention? What distractions are around me that need to be evaded, that need to be you know, removed. Um, that's something else that he uh, showed showed to me. It's like, okay, so there's a certain thing that may have your time, but I need your time more. For example, like on my phone, um, I had deleted, I've done this a few times with the Facebook app. I found myself just checking my stats post just too much. Yes, I would like to be a content creator. I'm, you know, working on that. But that does not mean, one, that my time um, that I spend creating content or checking on to see how it's doing is to replace God's time. That's a no no. We don't do that. Period. Yes, of course. So God doesn't want anything coming before Him. Period. Like, no, I mean, He doesn't want anything disrupting or having His time. So I'm like, okay. So I have to watch that, make sure I'm not allowing me just checking on this thing that seems to be harmless. Yes. I may be doing it for a good purpose, a good reason. It could be a good thing, but is it a God thing? So it's never going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, it's never going to be a God thing if it ends up replacing his time or taking our time away, our attention, our focus away. And then number two is I have to eat my scroll more, eat the word more, study it more. So for example, in my little journal, I bought some note cards, right? So I'm just trying to commit to scripture memory, do that better. Um... Just writing it out, just making sure I'm having that ample amount of time with them. Since I find when I intentionally put away time, close down everything, shut down everything, I can. Yes, yeah, so when I close down things, I can meet with him and hear him speak more. I can hear him speaking through these scriptures, for example. This is be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land. I swore to their ancestors to give them. And this is God speaking to Joshua, just as Joshua, when after Moses had died and God told him, you are now the, their new leader. I'm sure that does, those are some big shoes to fill, okay? Um, you know, having this leader and you've watched him, as his face stretched out, he stretched out the rod and the whole Red Sea dried up so y'all can get through the, the ocean. That has never been done before in history. That's that's the first time we've seen that. And for, you know, you to sit under that leadership and see that, that's a big deal. And God says, okay, that's a big deal for your leader to have done that. And then God says, okay, now you're going to go and you're going to lead my people. Like, whoa, that's big. And constantly through Joshua, even the first chapter, he keeps telling, be strong and courageous. It says, do not be afraid for I, the Lord your God, I am with you as I was with Moses. So God wants to be with us, but we have to allow time for that to happen. And we always hear, just like any relationship to grow with, we have to spend, make time, have a commitment. And that's what I'm learning. Don't allow anything. Don't allow you, I don't know, meal prepping, cooking, doing laundry, um, your spouse, kids, house, what, jobs, whatever. You need that time with the Lord to grow your relationship. And that's what I'm learning, and I appreciate him even what seems to me hiding himself 
because oftentimes maybe it's obviously it's gonna be me that it's gonna be me that move and not God. So even in us moving or him to choosing to hide his presence or disguise it a little bit more um, than normal, it's still our job to seek him, to seek him daily, um, to seek all things that we need. In Matthew 6, 33, it says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. But he was talking about, like, you know, our daily needs, but all he was talking about early, like the sparrow, how the sparrow doesn't either sow or reap. But it always has food. But I believe that can be applied to spiritual principles also. Um, as we desire, you know, to be closer to God. We desire to be a blessing to others. We desire to uh, want to be encouraging to the body of Christ. And those that don't yet believe. We have to seek God and trust that he will use us for his glory. Whatever that looks like. By us just desiring to be a blessing to other people. We have to trust God. All right, well, I love you guys. Thank you so much for listening. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.